Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically show you how to automate this mouse click and hold and release. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand in a manual way what is this mouse click and hold and release and for what purpose it can be used. So let me show you that manually for that I have this example website page. I'll copy this URL and open here in one of the browsers like this. After going to this page, what I want to do is there are several elements on this page, guys. What I want to do on these elements is, you see, I will pick one of the elements. Let's say Oslo. I want to click on this Oslo, but I don't want to release my mouse left click. Okay. I mouse left clicked on this Oslo. Using the mouse, I left click, but I'm not releasing that left click. And then I'm moving this item onto the Norway here and releasing like this. Okay. So in order to drag that and uh, drop it here, I have to click on that and I should not be releasing that mouse left click and I have to release only when the item is moved, moved to the required element. Okay. This is what I want to do. So same thing if I have to automate how to do that. So there are some commands in Selenium Python guys. Okay. So using which we can do that. Okay. You can simulate the mouse actions. Okay. These are the commands which belong to, you know, action chains class in Selenium Python. That is click and hold release. These two commands and uh, this mode element also, all these commands are from action chains class, okay, uh, which can be used for simulating the mouse actions or events. In this case, clicking and holding and releasing actions, okay. For clicking and holding, we have the command in, okay, command in Selenium Python that is click and hold from action chains class. And similarly, for releasing, we have the release command. And for moving the item, uh, to the required destination, right? We have this move to element also, okay? These three commands I'm going to use to get this done. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that you will understand in a better way. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser, then maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. I'll copy this URL, guys, and paste it into this get command. It will open this application URL. After that, I have to you know, click and hold on this Oslo for that. I'll inspect this Oslo option. Once I inspect this Oslo option, okay, this HTML code of this Oslo option, it has an ID. I'll create a web element out of this Oslo option here. I'll simply write down driver dot find element uh, by dot ID, give the ID locator of that Oslo option here. I'll type the name of the web element as Oslo for now. And now I need to create an object for action chains. Okay, action chains. Uh, this action chain class has this commands, right? All these commands like click and hold and release and all those stuff. That's the reason I create an object for the action chains uh, whose uh, inbuilt functions can be used for uh, simulating the mouse actions or automating the mouse actions, okay? So I'll copy this driver from here and pass it to the action chains as a constructor thing. And uh, to refer to this object that is created here, I'll create an object reference that is, you know, actions. I'll say actions is equal, you can name it anything, but generally people write it as actions. I'll, I'll use this object reference. I'll, I'll call that command. That is, uh, what is that command? Click and hold command, okay? Click and hold. On which element I have to click and hold? On this Oslo element, I have to click and hold. Then what is the next activity I have to do after clicking and holding this Oslo? I have to move this element onto, you know, I have to move this element onto this Norway, guys, okay? Like this, I have to move the element onto the Norway. So I have to move the element onto the Norway. I'll inspect this Norway option. And it also has an ID. I'll copy this ID of the Norway and I'll create a web element out of that. Okay, here I'll create a web element. I would find element by dot ID, ID locator of that Norway. Here I'll create the web element that is Norway. Okay, and store that into web element that is Norway. And now what I want to do here is, uh, you know, uh, simple. I'll create this web element way before this. Here itself I'll create. Now Oslo element is created here and Norway element before we started all this stuff. Now click on, hold on Oslo and then have to move to, then I have to move to element. Which element I have to move to? Norway element I have to move to. And after moving there, what I want to do after moving to the Norway element, I have to release it, right? I have to release guys, okay? I have to release. Whatever the click and hold is there, I have to release that, okay? Uh, then, then dot perform I have to say, okay? That's it. Three actions, click and hold on Oslo, move to element and then release. Release this click. Simple words releasing means releasing the click. By doing this, what will happen? This Oslo will be clicked and holded and then uh, move to, you know, 
Norway and then release it there. Okay, so let me do it again. Hold and release it. Like this, it should happen. Okay, uh, so what I will do here is uh, before any uh, this click and hold and release happens, uh, I'll just say uh, time dot uh, sleep just for demo purpose. I'm giving this guys. Okay, so that otherwise script will be very fast and will not be able to see what's happening on the screen. So here I'll give time dot sleep of three second and simply set driver dot pitch. Okay, after moving time dot sleep, I'm moving. Run this. So whether this commands click and hold, move to element and release are able to perform the required operation or not, let's see. Let's go to this page after three seconds, it will click and hold on Oslo and then, you know, move on to the Norway and release it. You see, it's working fine. So guys, this is how we can, okay, automate the most click and hold and release using this commands of Selenium Python, which belong to action chains class. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.